And I welcome back. You know, in this video, we so want to look at how compassion for special occasions, there are special cases that has to do with fraction. For example, we want to look at how to convert 29.75 in base 10 to base 2. You know, to recall, we are told that we are converting from base 10 to any base. We divide by the destination base. That is only applicable to the integer part that fractional whole numbers of those base 10 values. Now, for in this case now, for the fact for the whole number which is the 29, we divide by destination base, then by the fraction part which is 75, we multiply by the destination base. So that's the difference between these cases. So let's go about it. For this 29, we divide. So we divide 29, 20, 29. I'm going to be 28, give us 14. 14 remainder 1. This will give us 7 remainder 0. This will give us 3 <coughs> remainder 1. This will give us 1 remainder 1. And this will give us 0 remainder 1. So that's for that. Then write your answers upside down. For the fraction number, we have dot seven five. We multiply it by two. We multiply this by two. We have we multiply this by two. It's going to give us one zero point seven five zero point seven five times two. Give us one point five. Give us one. Leave the whole number here, so we have 5. So we multiply that 5, multiply the 5 so we, by 2. Only the fraction part we multiply by 2, so we have 1.00. So once you get to 0, you stop. You write your answers from top to bottom. So that's the difference between that two. Recall, we multiply. The fraction part. So by so doing at the end we have one 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 zero one dot one one in base two. So that's how that is done. So let us also see how to convert it back back to base ten. So converting this thing back to base ten, what we got, what it back to base ten, we told that we assign weight. So before the point, we we'll assign from left to the right, from right to left, then from after the point is from left to the right. So we're going to give it this way: one 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 zero one dot one one. This will be minus one, and this will be minus two. This will be zero one two three four. To so open the bracket, we have. 1 times 2, 1 times 2 raised to power 4, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 3, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2, plus 1 times 2 raised to power, plus 0 times 2, sorry, raised to power 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0, plus, plus, 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 2. Open the bracket, we have 1 times 16 plus 1 times 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. 8 to the 0 is 1 plus 1. We're going to be over. 1 over 2, then this one will be plus 1 over 4. So this will give us over 1 over 4, which is, taken as, which is the same thing as 2 raised to the minus 1, 2 raised to the minus 2. You open the bracket, apply the law of indices. <clears throat> so this one we have 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0. Plus zero plus one dot as a dot here plus one over two is zero point five plus this is zero point two five. So by the time you add this, sixteen plus eight is twenty is twenty-four, twenty-eight plus one 
29 dot 0 0.5 plus this will give us 7.5 in base 10. So we got 29.75. Let's go back to our question. No, that is the same value. So from our question here, we were giving we were giving 29.75 in, in base 10 to convert to base 2. So after conversion, we had 11101.11. Now we took it back again from that point in base 2 to base 10. I'll go back to original value, 29.75. All right, thank you. Thank you.